I just picked up a new torch made by Lincoln Electric. It's portable. Okay, I just got this at Lowe's. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so this is the part number for the torch that comes with it. Alright, and here's the torch. Alright, so it comes with an Air Pro bag. The categories, it's W1 slash A11. Okay, there's your UPC. Let's see what's in there. Okay, that's what's in there. A tip. It's made by Harris. And underneath it says A10 through 15 mm. So on the side here it says Harris D85 equal pressure. Okay, then in the other box we have the regulators. Let me give you the part number that came with it. Okay, there's the part number. So both black tips. Say Harris 601 230 bar. It says right here CGA 200, real small. Alright, so here's the oxygen. Just give you a It says 540 right there. This says number 5 China. I forgot to mention. This says 72-3 right there. Also has a pair of crappy sunglasses, but I would not recommend it. I'm, I'm using a, a top quality welding mask. And of course it comes with this striker. That striker, striker, striker. Ted striker, made in the USA. Comes with an instruction book, which we will go over. Comes with Harris hose. There's storage under here. Very nice to keep the tips. There you have it. There's a dot stamp on this. 8AL 100F. So the oxygen has a just a sticker certified ISO. Oh man. I'm going to have to go down to the welding store and see what happens here. These tanks are empty. I'll let you read it. Too many numbers for my taste. Alright, so I'm going to go to the welding store and see what happens. Hopefully they don't give me a hard time over the oxygen. Let's find out what happens. I'll let you know. Okay, so I just got back from the welding store. And uh, I had no problem exchanging the tanks. It was only $35. So if you'd like to see how to set it up, just keep watching. Step one, open the oxygen just a little bit. this is off. This one goes clockwise to tighten. Take your wrench. Just going to tighten it a quarter turn. Okay, for the acetylene, I'm just going to have this handy at all times. A key goes right here. And I'm going to have a little zip tie here so I can hang it. So it's right there if I need it. I'm going to install the regulator. The regulator is going clockwise to tighten. Give this a quarter turn as well. Okay, and then I would just go around and double check the gauges, make sure they're tight, and any of the fittings you see, just make sure they're snug. That's counterclockwise. So, get two wrenches. So they're snug. Then the oxygen. This one's clockwise. It's done by design for safety. Just gonna make sure it's tight. Careful not to turn the oxygen on. <laughs> attach the other end of the hose. You gotta take these off. And now attach the hose here. And they're clearly marked. Of course, you got to be able to read it. I'm just going to double check to make sure there's no leaks in the system at this point. Very slowly and not looking at it. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. OK, 
Okay, so I just know I can turn it off if I have to in a hurry. Okay, so as you can see, pressures are stable. Got uh, quite a bit of pressure in there. Just gonna very quickly just purge it. And I'm just making sure that it's staying in there. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other line just to, I just wanna make sure that I'm watching the gauges, making sure nothing's leaking and you can also spray warm soapy water if you want to make sure there's no leaks. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that the oxygen is not, doesn't have too much pressure to start. And I see the pressure going up. That's good. If I'm going to be cutting, I'm going to follow the manufacturer's guidelines and get that pressure squared away. What I did is I opened up this valve here counterclockwise so to make sure it's loose. I only did it about one turn for now. And what I did is I set these two. I set this one for 20, around 20, and this one for basically 7. And that's just a rough, a rough setting right now for cutting. But I just wanted to make sure that everything's, all the pressures are holding. So far, so good. So if we're talking light duty, you just take this connector here, which I identified earlier, and you just screw that on. And then, same with this, this is your tip. Both of these hand tight, because it's only for welding. <laughs> Not that it's no big deal, but this is more light duty, like heating the pipes or brazing rods like that. Does that make sense? But I'm not going to be doing that. Oh, most important, I made sure this was shut off before I touched this. And now I'm going to show you how to do the, put the cutting tip on. Again, I'm making sure these are off. Undo this. I'm going to store it in my container here. So once that's away and stored, I now have this long part here. I'm actually gonna do the tip first so you can see it. So I'm just gonna put, put that in here. And then this goes through here. And now I'm gonna screw this on here. The instructions say to tighten it with a wrench. I'm just gonna barely, you know, just snug. You can see that that's a hand threading. I just wanna show you that it works, so. I'm just going to open the gas just a crack, just a little bit. So there's too much soot on there, so I'm just going to open this up a little bit more. What you do now is you take your oxygen and just slowly introduce that. I'm just showing you that it's working. When you shut down, you know, you're supposed to first close the oxygen valve. It's been about a month since I bought this torch, and I will say that the first thing I highly recommend is get two ratchet straps. If you look carefully, I have a blue one up top and down below. Uh, cinch it up to your backpack holder so it doesn't, uh, tanks don't fall over. Not to mention that backpack holder, pretty, it's pretty chintzy. It already cracked on me, so I... I put the straps on, I recommend you do the same. And um, now that I've had it for a little while, I'm just gonna show you a quick test to show you that it can cut, and then do another quick test to just show you that it can weld. Um, I'm, no, I'm nowhere near an expert welder, I'm not even, I know nothing about welding, but I'm just trying to show you that someone like me that doesn't know what, what they're doing can, uh, can use this thing, and it's portable and easy.
like I said, I can't weld for sure. Okay, so obviously I have no idea how to weld, but I'm just trying to illustrate that the tool is capable. Uh, that was my first weld ever, um, <laughs> as you can tell. Let's see if it even holds together at all. Look at that. It worked. <laughs> all right, look at that, guys. Okay, so real quick, uh, what I like about it, I like the portability. I like that it has a carrying case. And I would say that the actual hardware is really nice. The actual cutting torch and the actual welding gear itself is really nice. The hose, everything. The thing I don't like, I would say, is that the case is not as strong as, as I had hoped. I already cracked it just moving it around. The other downside, obviously, is you run out of acetylene and oxygen pretty quick. So overall, I'd say this is good if you're somebody who you know, needs to be carrying this stuff around a lot and you don't mind refilling it. Or if you're someone that doesn't use it that quite that often and you just want to have it for when you got to make that difficult cut that you can't do with a sawzall. Uh, in terms of welding, I honestly would not use this for welding. I have uh, a MIG welder that I prefer. If you just need to cut something and you need to cut it fast and you need portability, this is awesome. I mean, it's especially if it's something you just can't cut with a sawzall blade for some reason, you know. It's a little expensive to cut with this stuff. It's not cheap. I don't know. Overall, I'm glad to have it. If anything, I may get bigger tanks. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.